what's going on YouTube? It's your boy That's Your Reactions coming to y'all. This is Bill Burr, man. Uh, this is how you know the N word is coming. This is Shaq's Five Minute Funnies. So this is probably like when he started, kind of thing. But uh, Bill Burr is hilarious to me, man. I love. He he just never not makes me laugh. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but we're going to jump. Don't forget my Patreon is in the description where you get exclusive access, early content, and special requests. You can also do PayPal for special requests, Cash App, any of those is cool. And my P.O. box is in the description. Actually, a Bill Burr fan sent me a mug that was so dope, like a coffee mug. It was so dope. Shout out to you, Carrie. I still remember you. Um, let's jump into this, y'all. <sighs> Shaq, I always... It's nice to be back here down the south, man. I had a real weird experience oh, last time so... I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me, he's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. <laughs> and it's coming hard. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. Oh and he hit God. the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, <laughs> like, doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I wonder if if uh, you get okay. I'm speaking to the white people. Do y'all get put, put in that situation where you don't condone that, right? You don't like the word, none of that stuff. But you with somebody who says the word and they just make you uncomfortable. Like what? What? Is, bruh, like chill. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like I can imagine being in that situation. See, I'm looking over my shoulder like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Wait for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> you don't up. do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap. Like, oh. <laughs> trying to pass it down to the next. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato, just threw it in my lap. Like, oh. <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. Like, I, 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 feel, like, I, I just feel like, especially because I got a lot of white friends. Um, and a bunch of my best friends are white. Actually, about, yeah, I got like four best friends. And, um, Three of them is white and one is black. Um, and the funny thing is, is, I wonder if they feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go around, because you don't necessarily know who you're going to run into. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to condone it, but you look at, um, you know what I'm saying? I hope, hopefully you tell them, like, bro, chill, don't be saying that word. I hope, you know what I'm saying? Everybody does that. But you could get put in that situation where you like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? They just said, you know what I'm saying? Let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, bro, why would you do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you made me, like, for instance, I went to my boy's um, fight, right? And uh, we're surrounded by white people. And he says something that was just like crazy. He was like, bro, what? He was like, man, there ain't nothing but white people. And I'm like, Dude, shut up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shut up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I get that, man. Like, that feeling. Like, ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister? Right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers. Then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet. You tell me about your militia. You don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? 
Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up. Most <laughs> <laughs> people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game. <laughs> You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like violence, man. I love Bill Burr, bro. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if Wait, I see Wait, what do you think? I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to oh, me or if yeah. I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Pop, that's another thing that makes him so you. Like I say, he he's he's relatable in a sense um, where he doesn't cross the line. Like he knows where that line is. Like he can feel it without, you know what I'm saying? Like without even, you know, stepping on it. Like he knows, you know what I'm saying? And he like that he puts that material so well into his bits. Like play. Watching people, you know, get attacked by animals. <laughs> Just get blasted think. in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know what my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a mess. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out-of-shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> by professional athletes. It was fascinating. Jermaine O'Neal was. And I think on. as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk. You started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? <laughs> if you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think awesome. <laughs> you get in the game, you're all drunk. You're like, you suck, buddy. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> and they're always calling him up. Come on up here. No, come on up here. And then if that one person comes. Well, they came up there. <laughs> they did, and they kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. Mm -hmm. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once. Like, <laughs> Pause, if you have never seen that, go to that fight. That is a legendary fight, man. Go to that fight. <laughs> at the palace, bro. I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? <laughs> he taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, mm -hmm. wow, it's coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. <laughs> that was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. And he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I can get out. <laughs> He's an idiot. Oh my God, bro. Bill Burr is so funny, bro. He is so funny, man. That was probably one of my favorite. That, that was so early in his career, it seemed like, too. Like, I don't know what year that was, but he had hair. He looked younger and stuff. Man, that was crazy, man. That's funny. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on my social media platforms. Everything is in the description. Till the next video, peace.